We've recently been doing a ton of content about artificial intelligence taking over and the guys over at Imagine reached out. They wanted to sponsor a video where I take you through their software and how it works. Basically the software works with Lightroom and you can train it to edit photos the way you like your photos edited. So let's say you're a wedding photographer, you already have a signature look. You can upload previous Lightroom catalogs train this artificial intelligence system, and then you can upload new images and it will edit the files like your old images. Or if you're like me and you're not the best at editing in Lightroom, they have talent AI profiles that are pre-trained profiles by other incredible photographers, and you can make your images look like theirs instantaneously. This software has a 100% free trial, but let me quickly show you how it works. Step number one, import images into Lightroom and cull them. We don't wanna send every single image through Imagine AI. We only want to edit the images that are worth keeping. So give me a second, let me go through all these. Everybody does this a little bit different. I went through and rated everything that I wanted to keep or edit three stars. Now what we're gonna do is close Lightroom and we will open up Imagine. All right, this is the software here and you can see the AI profiles. There are options to create your own. If you click on add a profile, you can see create your own profile recommended. This is where you're gonna upload previously edited Lightroom catalogs and it's going to look at the raw files and then look at the edits you made, figure out what each picture is a picture of and then learn and it will be able to replicate your edits. You can also use the talent AI profile. So you can see if I click on AI profiles over here and click on talent AI profiles, you can see all of the different options. And if you click on explore, it will take you to a page where you can actually see the before and after of what it's going to do to your images. And then you can see example files as well. To actually do the edits, we're going to click on projects, create new project. You can click on recent catalogs or come down here to browse, find the Lightroom catalog. All right, first thing I'm gonna name this project. Next up, choose Choose the AI profile. I'm going to choose love and light. I like that look. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to choose crop and straighten just so we can see what it decides to do for us. And then down here, we need to choose the star rating of the keepers that we chose in Lightroom, which in my case was three stars. Over here, I'm just going to click here and upload. Now Imagine says this process takes approximately 10 minutes to edit 1500 images, but it's going to be much faster for us because I'm only doing 36 here. We can hit open Lightroom catalog. It's automatically going to open Lightroom back up with the exact same files and the exact same star rating that I gave before, but now with the love and light look applied. You can see everything populating down here now. I've made a digital copy of all of these images and then reset the first one back to the original raw setting so that we can compare these side by side. So let's go through them real quick. Here is the before, here is the after. Obviously you can see it's cropped in a little bit. I do like the crop. Uh, colors and everything look much better. And a lot of people think that it's only changing these first sliders at the top. And they're like, you know, it really doesn't take that long to do that. Well, when you go down and you look, it's actually changing the color and the saturation and the luminance of everything. And if, if you were going to be this meticulous with every image, I mean, you'd be here for weeks. Before, after, again, we got that nice saturation boost. It's also fixed the horizon a little bit. Before, after, much better. Before, looks kind of dull. After, much better skin tones. You can see how much bluer and duller these skin tones are. I think it's gonna done a great job with these. Same thing there, way better. So it's doing a really good job of fixing the white balance, making the skin tones a little bit more natural, bumping up the contrast a little bit. Some of these are a little bit washed out. I feel like for the most part, every single one of these shots looks better to me, which is obviously what we want here. This shot, I feel like the white balance is a little bit too much on the red side, and it's done a good job of pulling that back down to a more realistic level. Much better, much better. Yeah, so it's done a great job with this session. Now I will say this software is really made with high volume shooters in mind. If you only had to edit a few images, 
you would spend a lot more time running it through Imagine AI and waiting for everything to process and then re-download it. I mean, you could you could just do a few sliders yourself and get everything looking exactly how you want it. This software is really going to shine with the photographers that are shooting hundreds or thousands of images. I'm definitely thinking about wedding photographers, sports photographers, um, event photographers. This software does charge per photo it edits. Uh, it costs five cents per photo and then an additional penny for cropping and another one for straightening. You can get an idea how much it's gonna cost for each one of your jobs on their calculator on their website. I used to deliver around 800 images per wedding when I was shooting weddings. So that's gonna cost you 40 bucks. And if you wanna add the straightening and the cropping, it's gonna be $56. For some of you watching right now, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, that's that's it's too expensive. I would never pay that. But if you're a wedding photographer, you're probably thinking, well, that is really cheap when you compare it to hiring a human being to do it and you might have to wait days or weeks and this can you know, get it done in just a few minutes. But here's the cool thing. We can go back to Imagine, go to Projects and Archive and we can see the project we just edited. We can click on the three dots over here and edit with a different profile and we can choose a different profile and we can do this up to five different times and it doesn't cost any more. When we get back into Lightroom, everything that we've done has been saved in the history panel here. So we can see the original photo, Love and Light is what we used to edit the photo before. And then we can click on Clean and Crisp, which is what we just edited. And you can go back and forth between these two and decide which one you like best. Luckily, this software has a 100% free trial. You get a thousand edits totally for free. So you don't have to spend any money right now. Go to the link in the description below. Check it out for yourself. See if it's right for you.